Hello, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to focus on a replacement head sculpt for the MMS 595 from Hot Toys or the Batman Begins or the newer Batman Begins uh, Batman figure. Um, the cowl that this one came with was not great. Um, as you can see from some of the example footage here, they they kind of look like parodies of, of Christian Bale as opposed to like a genuine representation of him. Um, sort of like when people do the Christian Bale Batman voice, it's always a bit exaggerated, a bit over the top. That's what these feel like to me. They feel like they don't feel like a genuine attempt at trying to capture. I mean, th th this neutral sculpt isn't too bad. Um, but on the whole, if we look at some reference images, from um, Batman Begins, you can see that the shape of the Hot Toys cowl just isn't right. It's not thick enough. Like Christian Bale has said that he had a, a really thick neck, like a panther. And you can see that from the shot from um, Batman Begins. It's just sh should be thicker and more imposing and, and a bit more scary. The Hot Toys ones just weren't doing it for me. Um, so I came across a head sculpt by Dean Tolliver um, and you can see his, his Instagram he does a lot of custom head sculpts like Doc Brown um, John Wick um, he's made a Slimer from Ghostbusters and I really like the look of his Batman Begins cowl and I went with this version which is the fighting cowl um, and as you can see I think it's just worlds apart um, from the Hot Toys version these look like actual representations of Christian Bale as Batman in Batman Begins. Um, like the cowl plays such a, an important role in Batman, the character as a whole, um, but especially in Batman Begins, he, you know, he's trying to, he's trying to just get across, you know, a sense of fear um, and trying to strike fear into people and the Hot Toys one just, they don't give that vibe off at all, I don't think. But this one is absolutely amazing. Like if you see it side by side, you can see the difference in the the thickness of the neck. Um, the Dean Tolliver one is a lot thicker, and I feel like he's just taking it a lot more seriously than than Hot Toys. Hot Toys really did drop the ball with these, I think. Um, and it fits on the body just this, you know, exactly the same as the Hot Toys version. It just pegs onto the onto the neck peg that um, Hot Toys provided with the actual figure. And the mouth plates again, this comes with three different mouth plates. It comes unpainted, um, so you do have to get it painted yourself. But the, the mouth plates uh, are magnetic, just like the Hot Toys version. Yeah, and it, I think it just looks absolutely incredible. I made this video mainly because I couldn't find any footage of this sculpt anywhere. Obviously, I, I could see it on, on Dean Tolliver's Instagram, which I will link in the description below in case you want to pick one up. Um, I couldn't find any footage of it anywhere. Um, so hopefully, you know, if you're in the market for, you know, uh, a Batman Begins cowl or you're looking to upgrade, you know, the, the, the one that came with the M MMS 595, um, or even one of the, the previous Batman Begins figures from Hot Toys, I think this is an absolutely incredible option for you. As I said, you, you, you will have to source a, a painter for it because it, it comes unpainted. And I do have a, a painter lined up for this, but I really wanted to get some footage out there of the, 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 the cowl before it was painted. Um, just to give anyone an idea of how it looks on the body, how it looks next to the Hot Toys version uh, before they, they go ahead and pick one up. And you can just see that the side profile just looks absolutely awesome. And here's a shot of the sculpt on the figure. Um, the, I, I have a, a custom cape on this as well from OT Customs. Um, because again, the Hot Toys cape just was lacking, I think. Um, whereas the OT Customs one is just way more accurate and just gives you that, you know, that Batman Begins flowing velvety cape look. And we get a good look at the 
MMS 595 itself. I did manage to pick up um, one of the, the more matte versions, um, which is a lot more film accurate. So yeah, um, I'll link Dean's Instagram and his website in the description below. Um, and thank you for watching.